So if we start by rewriting the vector equation of the line 1, 1, minus 1 is the point on the line and the direction of the line is minus 1, minus 1, 0. And what I can say straight away is that B is 1, 1, minus 1. So it must lie on the line. So now we need to consider, say I've asked us to show our method. So we say point on the line. And direction. I think they're looking for us to distinguish between the two. And B is the point 1, 1, minus 1. What I can then also notice is there's 0, K. So the Z coordinate will always be minus 1. So if we consider the points which have a Z coordinate of minus 1, and those are C, R and Q. So C is the point minus 1, 1, minus 1. I can see straight away it's not on the line because it has the same Y is unchanged. So that is not on the line. If we go to R, it is minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. So let's look at the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. 1 minus lambda has to equal minus 1. And 1 minus lambda equals minus 1. So the X coordinate gives us that lambda equals 2. And the Y coordinate equals lambda equals 2. So R lies on the line. And then finally, if we look at Q, I can say straight away it's not on the line. And that's because the line now we know is BR in direction. So if we rewrite this as Cartesian form, then 0x plus y minus z has to equal 0. So the y coordinate has to equal the z coordinate. And if we go back and look at the diagram, we can see that that is true for a, q, r, and d. We can see here in the mark scheme, it's quite vague about what they are looking for. So long as you've shown a clear method and full development of your answer and some application of vectors, then you will get the marks.